we have seen how to use inline styling in React using the style attribute on the JSX element. In this lecture, let's learn how we can set inline style dynamically. Here in the product details component, we are setting some inline style on this H6 element where we are displaying the price of the product. And to set inline style, what we are doing is we are using this style attribute and then we are using a set of curly braces. Inside that, we are specifying an object using another set of curly braces. And there, we are using the property name and then we are setting a value for that property. Now, what if we want to set a style dynamically based on a given condition? For example, if I go back to our React application, here we have a list of products. Now, some of the products here are available and some are unavailable. So, what I want is, for all the unavailable products, I want to set the background color to gray. And for all the available products, the background color should be white. How can we do that? Let's see that. Let's go back to VS Code and we are displaying our product list using this product component. Okay, so each LI element here is displaying a product in the product list. So on this li element, I am going to use this style attribute and we want to set some inline style. For that, first we need to use a set of curly braces. Inside that, we need to specify an object. And inside this object, we can set the style. So here, I want to set background color. And I want to set this background color to gray for the unavailable products. So here, first we need to check a condition. So after this colon, we can write that condition. So inside this props, we are getting the product object. So this props is going to have an is available property because this props here is a product object. So if this is available, if it is true, in that case, we want to set the background to white. So here I'm going to use this ternary operator and here let's specify the background color as white. Otherwise, if this is available is false, that means if the product is not available, there we want to set the background color to gray. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And you will notice that for all the unavailable products, the background color has changed to gray. So this is how we can set an inline style dynamically based on a given condition. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.